In today's video, I'll be showing you how to combine a little known feature on ChatGPT with Rank IQ to write SEO optimized articles that will rank on the first page of Google. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we need to do is grab our keyword from Rank IQ. If you're unfamiliar with what Rank IQ is, it's a keyword library tool. It's not necessarily a keyword research tool. The main difference is that on Rank IQ, they already have a pre-selected list of thousands of keywords that are low competition, high volume, and easy to rank for. So all you have to do is go through um, the categories that they already have. And let's say, for example, you are in the business and blogging category, then you can click on that category and you'll be able to see keywords that they've already pre-selected that may be easy for you to rank on. So of course you can filter down your keywords uh, uh, by your niche and by the competition level, time to rank and so on. But it makes it very easy for you to do keyword research because you don't have to validate if this is a good keyword. They've already done the validation for you. You just have to validate whether or not it's a good keyword for your specific website and your specific niche. The way that I found my keyword was I went into AI art and then I just scrolled over to the second section. As you can see here, there's about 290 keywords. So quite a lot um, of keywords. So once you scroll down or if you just filter down, obviously you'll have less keywords. So I found the keyword, can you use AI generated art commercially? And I thought that this was a pretty good keyword. It has a content score or sorry, a competition score of 28. And it seems to be um, easy to, to rank for. And it has about 2,400 visits per year. So what I did was I ran the report. So I just click run report. And this gives me a report about that keyword. So if I head over to my reports, I can open up my SEO report. So this is going to be the content analysis and the recommendations that we need to follow if we want to rank for the keyword, how can you use AI generated art commercially? So as you can see here, we get the content analysis. So these are going to be the topics that we need to include within our articles in order to rank for this keyword. So if we're writing about AI generated art, we need to include commercial purpose, AI generated images, copyright law, text prompts, and so on. So these are the, the topics in which we need to include. And if we scroll down, we'll also be able to see the topics that Google likes in the titles. So we need to include AI in the title, art, can, AI generated, commercial use, and so on. So these, again, this is going to be a guide for your title so that you're able to rank for your keyword in which you're going after. Below that, you're going to see a competitor analysis of the SERP. So this is going to be the top ranking titles. So these are going to be some of the best titles from the best websites. And if you scroll down, you're going to see the highest graded content. So this is going to be the website that wrote the highest graded content, which is currently an A minus from this website here. So you can take a look at your competitors, see what they're doing. And uh, this can give you some recommendations of what you can do to improve your on page SEO to increase the likeness of ranking for that specific keyword. So the way that you combine Rank IQ with ChatGPT is that the first thing that you want to do is download this report. So once you download the report, you're going to have that report all summarized within this document here. So we can see the suggested word count. We can see the content analysis. We can see the highest scoring topics to use. So commercial purpose is the highest scoring topic. So that needs to be included the most or it's the most heavily weighed. We have AI generated images and so on. So not only does it give you the keywords, it also tells you how important those keywords are. So again, if we scroll down, we can see the title analysis. So the top keywords to use, we can see all of the keywords there and we can see the score. And this is for the title. If we scroll down, we're going to see the highest ranked titles for inspiration. So these again are going to be the titles in which the AI can use to generate its own title. If we scroll down, we'll see the competitor analysis. So these are going to be the websites that are ranking for this specific keyword. We can see their DA, their PA, their RD, not too sure exactly what that is, but it's included. And we see their title as well. And we get a couple of their competitors and then um, it kind of just finishes off there. So you get a nice report, which we can feed into ChatGPT and prompt it to use this report when creating our content. So that's exactly what I did. The first thing that I need to do, and this is going to be important for you, is that sometimes um, if you upload the file as is, I believe this is a CSV file. Um, what I did was I had to export this as a PDF. So convert it into a PDF and then upload it because sometimes it doesn't work it's, if it's a different type of file. So I uploaded it as a PDF and then I asked the AI, do you understand what this file is? So it told me what the file um, is, what's included in the file and so on. And then I just reiterated and told it that this is a report and a content analysis for the keyword. 
And then I told it that we need to follow these recommendations when writing to ensure we write an SEO optimized article that will rank for this keyword. So when writing, always follow these recommendations. Do you understand? And then it tells me, yes, it understands. So I told it, let's start by creating an SEO optimized outline based on the recommendation provided for the keyword and make sure to write a markdown and be in depth. So it went ahead and it was able to create me that, um, that outline. So can you use AI generated art commercially? What is AI generated art, legal considerations, commercial use examples, and a conclusion. So I would say overall a pretty good outline. And then all I did was I told the AI to use the outline above and the SEO recommendations provided. I want you to write the full article, include lists, tables, charts, bolded words, but then I told it to write each section individually, starting with the intro, and then I will tell you when to move on. Remember to include all SEO recommendations. So the main difference is here, I just told it to write each section individually. Reason is, is because you're able to get much, much more in-depth content and the content is a lot longer. So can you use AI generated art commercially? We get an intro and then it actually describes the intro and the keywords that they included in that intro, which is pretty good. Then I just told it to move on to the second section. What is AI generated art? Then the third section, legal considerations. And then the fourth section, which is ethical implications and so on and so forth. So overall, as you can see, you get a pretty long and a pretty in-depth article from ChatGPT. And this is very rare because when you use ChatGPT, especially the interface or the web app, you're not able to get that long of articles. When I tested this before, I was only able to get maybe 900 or 800 words. But when you actually tell it to generate each section individually, it seems as though you're able to get a much, much more um, in-depth um, and high quality article. And when you upload your files with recommendations, then it's able to be much more SEO optimized because they can use that information to um, write better content. So you can use this feature, this upload feature for any um, use case that you have. You can also upload um, a list of your internal links and ChatGPT will then be able to use that uh, throughout your articles. You could also use this same method using the playground mode. I just wanted to use the ChatGPT interface because not everyone has access to the playground mode, but essentially you can follow the same format here and you can, instead of uploading the file, you may have to just copy over all of the contents because there's no ability to upload on the playground mode, but you can copy over the contents, so just paste it into the system, and you should be able to get similar or even better results. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. I hope that you learned something new. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.